everyone, it's Chris. Welcome to my parlour. And today I've he I'm here with a new reading for you, a new pick a card. And it's it's time. It's time. What is it time for? Let's find out what the cards have to share with us, shall we? Sometimes we get to a certain stage and we think... You know, it's time to move on, it's time to rearrange, it's time to do something else. It's it's always time to do something. And sometimes we think, oh well, it can wait until tomorrow, it can wait until next week. If it's not going to be important in five years' time, why bother about it now? Or sometimes things sneak up on us. And sometimes the universe gives us a very clear indication that today is the time to start something, to end something, to contemplate something, to plan something. So what is it time for you to do? I'm going to go to look at this book here to give you a bit of a quote and then clarify with the tarot cards. Okay, so first of all, I'm going to pour a cup of tea. get the energy flowing and allow for the universe to provide us with an answer so what is it time for you to do I'll give you a few moments to decide which deck belongs to you one two or three number one let's have a look at your deck and see what it's time to do, shall we? What is the time for you to do? Let's have a look in our little book. Now is the time. Just to give a reference, not necessarily what you need to do today, but just to give you an idea. Hmm. Find your spark. Okay, I'm going to read it for you. Find your spark. We all have a spark within us that ignites our creative spirit. Sometimes it's overshadowed by the big obstacles that threaten the light in our lives. But our spark will survive our darkest times, waiting to show the way to a brighter future. And a little bit of a, um, a quote here. If the divine spark were not native to us, how could it move us to rapture? Yeah, so it's time for you to find your spark. Let's find out a little bit more in the cards and see what that might indicate for you. Now is the time. So I'm going to give you one other card, I think, from the Fantod pack. Which I'll give you first. Sometimes I do this. I pick random decks right in the middle of a reading. It's just I just feel um, drawn to them a certain person the yellow bird it's time to escape the daily humdrum it's time to escape all of these worries these people these concerns that hold you back and um, capture you so they get a bit prickly, they get a bit scratchy. You don't need that in your life, especially when you've got a spark. So it's time for you to escape the humdrum of daily life and just relax, chill a bit if you can. Find your niche, find your safety spot. And just let yourself fly in the face of adversity. 
fly in the face of adversity. <laughs> Get that my teeth in. This one just turned up by itself. And so did this one. So it's definitely saying it's time to, to turn your back on something. Sometimes it's the only thing we can do. If things aren't working out, you've tried your best, you've done this and you've done that, you've done everything you possibly can, but it's still not working. It's time to leave it behind. So what are you leaving behind? What do you need to leave behind? Balance in all things. Please don't cut off your nose to spite your face. Please don't burn bridges. It's a sort of um, balancing what you need with what you have and what you need to bring in. Does that make sense? So you can move away, but not taking everything with you. There are some things you need to take with you, some things you need to leave behind. It's all about a balance. Please don't spite your no please don't cut off your nose to spite your face is what's coming through here with the yellow bird. It's time to escape all that humdrum stuff. But you can't leave everything behind. You do need to take some things with you. Oh, another one just dropped. Getting yeah, a lot of dropsy ones today. It's a third of as a three of wands, which indicates yes, there's definitely something out there waiting for you to bring in. And <clears throat> If your ship doesn't come in, hop in a boat and sail out to it, row out, row out to it because there's something definitely waiting for you to bring in to your life or to see yourself further afield. So it's definitely there. So it's time to look further afield. It's time to just do what it is that brings you a sense of achievement at the moment. Try again, even if you feel as though things aren't successful, try again. Success is imminent. <laughs> Definitely. Okay, let's have a look. You have the first card that turned over is the Nine of Wands, which indicates a time of reflection, a time of pause, a time of gathering, a time of um, rest, a time of no, never giving up, but just recounting, regrouping, adding to what you haven't got, taking away what you don't need, but waiting for the next phase, waiting for the next opportunity being on guard for the next opportunity, not laying down your guard, being vigilant, being in focus because another opportunity will present itself to you. How are you going to proceed from there? Because it's going to ultimately lead to success. You've got a lot of wand energy here, a lot of wand energy, a lot of fire and passion, enthusiasm coming through here and a successful time is imminent. Here we are waiting for things to come to us. Here we are searching and seeking what we want. Where do we see ourselves from this point onwards? Where do we see our future? Where do you see your future? Where does it lead you? Where are you headed? Because success is here and it's almost time for you to gather it. But you need to let go of all the burdens that are holding you back. Sometimes they are of our own making. Which ones are yours? Which one belongs to somebody else? It's a time for you to now to regroup, start again. But know that whatever it is, it's not, it's not a finish, it's a pause here at the moment. But you do need to let go because you're moving into something better. So hopefully that's helped you. Number one, finding your spark. Thank you. Hmm. 
Number two, let's have a look at your cards. I'm going to give you a quote from now is the time. And another deck I'm using today, the Edward Gorey um, Van Todd pack, which I really, really enjoy. So let's have a look now and see what it is time for. Time for now. What is the time for now? Now is the time. Oh, I've got two here. I'm deciding which one's most prevalent to you. Mm, think things through or add spice to your relationship. Mm, maybe both. I'll give you both. Okay. Think things through. And add spice to your relationship. Hmm. Even long-term relationships need a little bit of spice every now and then. A little bit of sizzle. <laughs> Think things through. Resist the pressure to react without consideration. Pause to see things in perspective. Think through your options. Give weight to the consequences of your action. But when you decide, act with dispatch. Think like a man of action and act like a man of thought. Now, adding a little bit of sizzle to your relationship. Make a conscious effort to honour your loved one. Start with the little things. A hug, a kiss, flowers, a card, a note, a small gift. Then remember the bigger things. Their feelings, their hopes, their needs, their goals. Set aside time for each other. Keep alert to each other's feelings and moods. Keep the relationship young and fresh. How do I love thee? Let me count the ways. Let's clarify that quote, shall we? With this card here as well as your tarot cards number two. Let's find out what's happening for you. Hey, I've got an idea about your relationship. <laughs> Not giving you ideas about your relationship, but what would be your perfect date? And then take your partner on that date. Does that make sense? Because you might both enjoy it. Because sometimes our partners don't know exactly what we want. Or our friends don't know exactly what we want. But if we could bring them to that, you both can have some excitement and enjoy the night. Does that make sense? Instead of just waiting for your partner to do that for you. Take them on your perfect date. Does that make sense? I think that might be a very nice thing to do. Where would you go? What is the dress code? Mm, some sizzle afterwards. Oh. The plant. Growth. Nurture that growth. Nurture what you have right now. If the grass is greener on the other side, water your own lawn. <laughs> That's what they say, don't they? So take care and nurture what it is you already have and something brand new you may start from it. Mm. Let's clarify that. <clears throat> Sometimes we forget those that we love. We forget others and their feelings and what we need to do and how we need to proceed because we're thinking about ourselves and where our future lies. But we forget that sometimes we have a partner that's tagging along with us. And I think nurturing that relationship is just the best thing. 
no matter what kind of relationship that is, whether it's a lover, husband, wife, um, sibling, parent, best friend, um, workmates even. Are you dragging them along or are they coming along willingly? Are you forcing yourself to go along with them or are you going willingly with them? Something new is about to start because you're nurturing what you already have. Interesting that you should get these cards. Wherever you're headed, the outcome, the destination is accurate. You can almost feel it, you can almost touch it. And it starts with a brilliant idea. It starts with a, a plan of action. It just, just start something today. Even the smallest thing that you can start, start it today. Two wand energy. The Ace of Wands brings about those new ideas. Brings about some brilliant, brilliant ideas. Ones that you want to ignite. Ones you want to keep the, the, um, the light shining with that one your passion deep within you, your creative spark. It's leading you somewhere that you can see, somewhere that offers, op offers opportunity and advancement and just a general feeling of, yes, satisfaction of, of a job well done, of places to go, people to see. Opportunities. New work, perhaps, a new residence, perhaps, new friends to meet, new groups to start, money coming in, a lot of money coming in, whatever it is, the ships come in and it's worth being, it's been worth waiting for. Take that spark, follow through with that one, and follow through with the Page of Pentacles. Page of Pentacles. Is about learning something brand new or taking an existing idea and learning more about it taking an existing relationship and learning more about it taking yourself and learning more about yourself it's also about making a new start in um, a career making a new start in a home making a new start with a budget um, but starting with something, the, the, initial, the initial spark and advancing on it in whatever area of your life that needs to be um, expanded on, remembering to nurture what you already have, then something new will grow from it. Does that make sense for you today? Number two. So thank you. Number three, lucky last but not least, number three, let's see what might be happening for you. I'm going to give you a little bit of a quote though from this book, Now is the Time. Oh. Now is the time to break the cycle. What does that mean for you? Let's read it. Challenge the routines in your life. Seek a sanctuary. Pause and reflect. Find the monotonies and change them. Take new paths. Try new ways. Chill. Return recharged. To enjoy life, we must touch much of it lightly. 
to break the cycle. The cycle ends with you. You can break that cycle. So if there's something that's been going on and around and around your life and you think, this is just going around in circles. Break the cycle. Start something new. Do something differently. If you always have pasta on Tuesday night, shake it up a bit. If you always go the same route to work, change it. If you always go to the same places with your friends, change it. If you're tired of your routine at work, change it. Whatever you can do with the capacity that you have, with what you have, then you can change any circumstance that you find yourself in. Not all circumstances, and it's not saying things are easy, but it's just saying what you can change. The cycle can end with you. If you always do the same things your mother always used to do, and you sort of think, oh, I'm just turning into my mother. Mm. It happens to all of us, I tell you. Then change the cycle. Your children will be grateful too. Your partner will be grateful. Your friends will be grateful. Because they've been wanting to change the cycle too, but they didn't know how to do it either. Be the change that makes the change. Now is the time. Okay, I'm going to give you one of these. This is Edward Gorey's Phantod deck. I love it. Get straight to the point. Crawls under your skin. Makes you think. It doesn't really go away until you, until you scratch that itch and you get down to the nitty gritty of what it is that's happening in your life at the moment. What do you want to change? What is always the same? And you always say, I'm always doing this, but why am I always doing it? Because you never change it. So now it's time to change it. Even if it leaves you all, let's see. Don't struggle. Don't struggle. You'll just go down further. So what you need to do is to relax, to chill, and to become as relaxed as possible. Float to the surface. See your surroundings. And start paddling. <laughs> then start paddling. But don't start paddling until you know where you are and what it is you're headed towards. Let's clarify that. Everyone's got this card today, the Three of Wands, so there must be some big changes coming. Oh, everyone's got that one, so it's really interesting. You've got the Page of Cups, putting a lot of thought into your emotional response to stuff. Seeking the advice of others if you can't quite work it out for yourself. That's okay. Sometimes we just get stumped and we just need to have someone sort of brainstorm with us. But there's an emotional component to everything. And you're lost at sea. Of course you're going to be out there. And you're to, the first instinct is to panic and to think, okay, but you need to stop. Chill a little bit. Consider your options. And then when you're calm and your emotions are calm, it's much easier to focus on what it is that you're seeing and what you need to bring into your life. Because there's definitely things coming through for you. You're at a point now when you can really see the bigger picture of where you really need to be, where you're headed. Sometimes where you're headed isn't where exactly where you need to be. So, but with the Three of Wands, it's indicating that, yes, you are headed in the right direction. But you can see further now. 
because you've you're not quite so panicky you've calmed down you have your sailing ship now so you don't really need to um, flounder around in the ocean you've got your sailing ship and you're headed for really good things really important things <laughs> This is like putting on your thinking cap, really it is. Um, and then deciding what's really important. Because sometimes we lose sight of the bigger picture. We lose sight of where we're headed. Because our minds are in two places. Sometimes we overthink things and we think, what's the right thing to do? Sometimes we... We react rather than think about it. Sometimes we react with our emotions. We get in too deep with our emotions. And then we have to rethink things because we change our minds again. So this is about making a decision and sticking with it. Not listening to gossip. Listen to messages that come through for you, but not listening to gossip. Make your own decision because it's better to, for you to make your own decision than for somebody else to make it for you. Is what's coming through here. Does that make sense for you today? So hopefully that's helped you. Number three. So thank you everyone for joining me today. Now it's now is the time. So hopefully I've helped you with a little bit of information there, a little bit of focus. Whatever you need, take it. And whatever you don't, leave it behind. So take what you need and leave the rest. Okay then, so thank you very much. Until next time, so many blessings.